from great teams to not so great teams. All things really depend on the overall skill of each individual team. And again, let's remember your team can be called 15 Premier and be at the top team in your club all day long, but they can be a bunch of beginners that really should not enter any sort of open level event at tournaments, or they can be the 17 Mighty Mice and wreak havoc at tournaments <laughs> in the open level division or whatever division you put them in. So don't get caught up on labels and names because I know some clubs that have age groups that run with only one team per age group, while there are other clubs that run four to five levels deep per age group. That is until around age 16 when players begin to decide if volleyball is really right for them. A lot of players quit, but a lot of players keep going. With clubs that have many teams or what I call a ladder, where players might not be on the top team inside that club, they can still whoop up on some teams when they compete outside of the club at tournaments. Those twos, threes, and sometimes fours and fives teams are loaded with extremely strong players. They are just not strong enough, fast enough, or aggressive enough to make whatever the club is their strongest top team yet. Oftentimes, players on those teams will stay in the gym working on getting better, faster, stronger, but will have to move clubs to make a higher team. The same goes with those players that are actually on a top team, but see little to no playing time. They know that they want to play and the only way to do so is for them to go somewhere else. 